My name is Cole, and welcome to my channel, Driving with Gloves. I always drive with car gloves. Your question might be, why do I drive with gloves? And my answer is, why not? In this episode from Driving with Gloves, I am going to be one of the upper 10,000 because I am going to drive a car from the Noblesse Oblige. That's why ambience is highly important. So I am filming here in front of the historical castle Schloss Meggenhorn in Switzerland. Meggenhorn was first mentioned in 1240 and that was exactly 51 years before Switzerland was founded. The castle, as it is nowadays, was finished between 1868 and 1870. Since 1974 it belongs to the commune of Meggen in Canton Luzern in Switzerland. And you can even rent a castle. So this episode from Driving with Gloves is not about the Yes Roadster. Although I adore that car, and it is neither about an Alfa Romeo Junior 1600 Zagato, because I've driven that already here in Megan. No, today the car I'm going to drive is a top of the bill car, a Rolls Royce. And tell me, what is better than a normal roller? It's an open Rolls Royce. Because then the working class can admire you. What the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe is today was this gorgeous Rolls-Royce Corniche convertible Mellanop Park Ward from 1981 in its days. And thanks to Auto Vogel in Switzerland, I'm the lucky one to drive this beauty today. So, let's put on my gloves and drive. Rolls-Royce Motors formed Mullenhoek Park Ward by the 1961 merger of two Rolls-Royce subsidiaries. Park Ward, a Rolls-Royce subsidiary since 1939, and Mullenhoek Co a Rolls-Royce subsidiary since 1959. Mullen and Parkworth made bespoke bodies for Rolls-Royce and Bentley motor cars. The coach builder business closed in 1991, but the Mullen name is used for the personal commission department of the current Bentley manufacturer. The Rolls Royce Silver Shadow was produced in the United Kingdom between 1965 and 1980 in various forms. A two door saloon from the Silver Shadow was introduced in 1966, followed by a convertible in 1967. The convertible variant was marketed as the Silver Shadow Drop Hat Coupe by Mellon of Park Ward. In 1971, the Silver Shadow two door models were given the separate identity and eventually went on to outlive the Silver Shadow by some years, with production lasting until 1982 for the Coupe and 1996 for the convertible.
So let's have a look under the bonnet. The Conise used the standard Rolls-Royce 6.3-quarter V8 engine with an aluminium silicon block and aluminium cylinder heads with cast iron wet cylinder liners. Corniche models received Bosch KEK Jetronic fuel injection in 1977. Although Rolls-Royce never spoke about the power of the engine in the past, because it was only said that the power was sufficient, this engine produced approximately 240 PS. So let's put on my gloves again and drive. I was just waving to someone because this car attracts attention. Notable owners of this generation of Carnage include Aristotle Onassis, Paul McCartney, David Bowie. Tom Jones, oh yeah, Engelbert Humperdinck, Frank Sinatra, Elton John, Liberace, Dean Martin, Jaja Gabor, David Attenborough, just to name a few of them. I really feel like a lord. The Spirit of Ecstasy, also called Emily, Silver Lady or Flying Lady, was designed by the English sculptor Charles Robinson Sykes. It carries with it a story about secret passion between Montague, a pioneer of the automobile movement, and the model Eleanor Velasco Thornton. So it should have been Eleanor instead of Emily. If the Silver Lady would have been created a few decades later, her name might have been Marilyn. Out of the way because the Lord is coming. I feel like Brad St. Clair and the Persuaders, to be honest. The three speed THM 400 automatic gearbox from General Motors is very smooth. The whole car is about smoothness, but did you know that the same gearbox was used by many other car brands? Although Rolls-Royce is highly exclusive, other car manufacturers have used the THM 400 gearbox as well, including Ferrari, Jaguar Daimler, the Nissan Prince Royal, AM General and Jeep. You will laugh, but this is the key for the Rolls Royce. It's incredible, isn't it? Such a small key. for watching this episode from Driving with Gloves with this exquisite Rolls-Royce Corniche Drop Head Coupe Mellona Park Ward from 1981. This car is for sale at Autofogel in Switzerland. Thanks again to the commune of Megan to let me film Schloss Megenhorn. Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Driving with Gloves. See you next time.